Hello you dirty old buggers, Jim Sterling here and this is Rogue Stash. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'm not in a great mood. I tried to do several videos this morning. I tried to play a game called Call to Ten, which was a horror game inspired by Saw, which interested me. That crashed at the first loading screen. Then tried a game called Tor Ricky, which was a Japanese platforming game about a bird that controlled like it was the bird from Flappy Bird. That was just awful, couldn't even make an entertaining video about that. Did a first run of Rogue Stash and it crashed during a, a level transition, so that's good. I'm giving Rogue Stash a second chance because it was pretty promising up till the point where it crashed and wasted, you know, 15 minutes of my time, my precious time. So let's try again. Hopefully we'll get a better impression. Play. Hats. I earned this hat last time I played. Uh, you can unlock various hats and moustaches and they give you different stat boosts. So this kind of messy wig we've got here, damage boost 15%, create crates, sorry, always drop a weapon. Yeah, that's as good as done. So, early access game, roguelike, uh, inspired by such titles as Risk of Rain. Oh god, there we go. Hit it in the end. I prefer controllers for games like this. I also prefer not to stand next to exploding barrels, but I did. Even though the game says it has full controller support, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Um, certainly doesn't support my controller, so I'm using mouse and keyboard. Got a flamethrower, nice. In fact, let's switch to it. Oh, fun. So you've, you've always got a starting weapon. And, you know, your, stand, your, your main weapon and whatever you pick up in the field. As you earn coins and get unlocks, you can access better starting weapons. I stood... Why did I stand next to the... I don't know why I'm standing next to barrels and then shooting them. I think I'm just in a fucking rough mood now. I like the sounds. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Well, that didn't go great, did it? Oh, fucking hell. It's very chaotic. And the art style, I'm not entirely sold on that. The main protagonist, in fact, any humanoid characters in general, not too fond of their design. I mean, the, you know, the retro graphics and everything, they're to be expected these days. Nothing remarkable, nothing offensive about them. But, you know, something about the, the actual protagonist just puts me off a bit. Uh, we've got plenty of weapons. Press that. We get to these different bits where we can access new weapons between levels. I've got so many, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Stick with the inventory I have. But let's switch to three. It's the electric gun. I used that the last time I uh, tried to play this. Well, the last time I tried to record a video of this game before it fucking That's crashed. Good. It's a pretty good weapon. And you can see there, spreads across the whole, the whole everything. Oh god. I think something tried to crash into me, but I guess maybe I can do damage by bouncing on heads. I'm a little afraid to check and confirm that. No, fuck. Should have. That didn't go well. That didn't go how I wanted it to go. <laughs> okay. Let's stash power it up. What the fuck? That's a giant eye. What the hell is that? Why is that happening? Another thing about the game is the double jump leads to a very wild, quick. Um, I don't even know how he would describe it, but this he really surges forward with the double jump. It can make it a little difficult to control. Also, apologies for me being somewhat making a lot of pauses in my speech trying to concentrate at the same time. It's a fairly tricky game, you know, as these games often end up being, or at least attempt to be. Right, that's our electric gun used up. Let's press five. Looks like some sort of LMG. 
We need a key for these, but there's normally something cool in there, like a hat or something like that. So, usually something with a little more permanency to it. I fucking shot that barrel again, didn't I? Okay. Just reload again. Oh god. The end of that fucker. This will do. Okay, we got ammo for a heavy machine gun. Let's try a different weapon. Let's press six. Have we tried this one before? It looks familiar. I may have done that on the last playthrough, the one that fucked up. Ah, yes, the laser. Definitely used it before. You don't get a lot of ammunition from it, but the bouncing—it's just value for money, isn't it? Four. Oh no, that's a. I pressed three instead. Got a grenade. I don't like that. I need to fucking get... Why I was having such trouble getting up there. Okay. Now, four. What does this do? Oh, it's like a sniper rifle. Cool. Did I press a button on this level? I must have done. Okay. Ooh, level three. Stash power grants extra speed. Stash power heals you. Yes, that seems like that will be very useful. Acid pistol. Let's get rid of these grenades. Do not like them. Um, F. Yes. Okay. Acid pistol. I've used I used that on the last video attempt as well. It's pretty good. Let's go. It's got this uh, fun arc to it. I can't destroy the barrels though. So that's something to be aware of. Comes that eye. Boom. Oh fuck. I didn't see the eye spider. It's a lot of eyeballs, I realise. They've made a lot of eyeballs. Fuck me. I don't even... Sometimes I don't even know what I'm looking at and what's going on. That might be an issue to look at as well. I feel like the visuals are a little bit... Maybe a little bit confusing, because the screen just gets so fucking busy. Also, I fell a long distance. Oh, let's meet boy our way up the wall here. Bollocks. Come here. Did I get it? Yes. Get that for the ammo. Can't do anything about that eyeball. Okay. Loot K. Why not? I will need to drop something. Um, I'll get rid of the laser just because there's never much ammo for that. Nice. That'll do. That's all right. And we'll stash power it up once we get here, get our healing on. That's a Let's very go. useful upgrade. Thank you! Oh, that's very pleasant. <laughs> yes, oh god. What's that? I don't even know what that is. Um... Press F to drop current. Death ray. I want a death ray. Oh, that's. Fuck. It's more like a rocket launcher, but I'll take it. It's a good weapon for just spraying wildly and seeing what you hit. Okay, cool. Oh god! Go away, eyeballs! Okay, I need to change to another weapon to explode some things. We should find a... I want to look for a loot crate. Do 
The game's pretty generous about healing, though. Like, it can throw you into some situations that will proper fuck your health up really quickly. But it's not stingy with keeping you alive. Okay. Got a stash token. They're useful after you die. This will do. An assault rifle. Thank you very much. I'm going to get rid of the acid. The acid pistol is fun, but... It doesn't exactly help out a great deal when you're trying to destroy crates and barrels and things. I'm going to get rid of this flamethrower as well, just because I'm not really using it. I would like to keep the loot crate. There we are. Keep our submachine gun up, and we're ready to get out of here. Boom! So yes, very much enjoying the game, I think. Stash power grants infinite jump. Stash power turns nearby enemies into chickens. Pick up money and XP from a longer range. I'm going to go with this. Just because that works well with just the manic way in which you behave when you've got stash power on. Being able to just constantly jump while firing, uh, basically with the eyes closed, seems like a good idea. Okay. Oh no, let's get, get rid of that. I don't know. I don't know if there's any more meaning to that. If there's anything more significant, who knows. All right, stash power ready? Yes, it is. Oh, that was a. Oh, it's a bus. Oh god, and I can't stash power this. Okay, come on. Ho ho! Something tells me if I hadn't switched to that death ray, things could have gone significantly more different. But hey, cool. What you got for me? Got a stash token. Once we die, and make no mistake, we will die. That'll come in to play the stash token. All right, what's this? Beat all four bosses to unlock this door. Okay, fair enough. Let's go. And here we go again. Level up moustaches to make them more powerful. Alright, I will. Thank you. Come here. What we at? Okay. Submachine gun. The eyes have moustaches. That one does. Oh, fuck. There we are. Soon dealt with that. Fucker. Try our assault rifle. Okay, that's got a kind of burst thing going on. I'm being chased by bullets! Oh, this is not ideal at all. This is not how I would choose to have... Oh, God. Who's this little fucker? I didn't even see him. The little fucking eyeball with the rotor blade. Little bastard. Oh, well. Anyway, stash tokens. This is what we use those for. We... Spin them. We can bet all three. See what we get. If anything. A new hat. And that's about it. That's it. No tokens left. Could spend a hundred coins to get one, but I'm not gonna. Because we could actually buy a new moustache if we want it. What we got? Gentleman. Minus 25 HP, but faster reloads. Okay, minus 50 again, but high speed and... Attack, plus HP, but slower speed and slower reloads. None of those seem good. I don't like any of those. Could start with a better weapon. Shotgun. See what this hat does. Reload speed boost, nice. 5% chance to gain health from kills and faster knives. Yeah, I'll wear that. And what that is, some sort of balaclava helmet maybe. Oh, well, let's do a different moustache anyway. That'll do. B to purchase. All right, we've got the gentleman. Weaker but faster reloads. I, that's something. I'm ready to go. All right, why won't you let me go? Oh, fuck. Well, that worked. 
I don't know what was stopping me there. I must have missed Here something. Fuck off, eyeball. Oh god, ugh! Look at it swinging around like that um, mobile game that I've totally forgotten the name of, where you are... Uh... Do you remember it? I think it was like an auto runner, but you press and hold the, the, the screen to throw a grappling hook and swing. I used to love playing that. Now I can't remember the f name of it at all. It was always fun, that game. I'm sure someone in the comments will remind me. Yeah, it does look like you can safely bounce on things' heads, which is nice. Good to know. Nice. Oh, got ourselves an LMG. Nice. It's got a bit of a wild spray to it, as one might expect. Ain't a precision weapon. I'd never know if there's maybe there's a secret way to get to these little holes that have things in. Or if they are just there to just there as part of the randomization process. I realise I, I left one coin down there, but it don't matter. Probably gonna wrap up soon anyway. So I've been here for fucking ages trying to get a video done. And I got plenty of work to do. What the fuck is that a lightsaber? Yeah. Something tells me that's not gonna be too useful. Well, I don't know actually, I mean... Got a bit of a whirling dervish thing going on. But it, it's a little too short range for my tastes. Try this. Some sort of, I don't know, revolver, magnum. Some sort of big old hand cannon. Cannon is right. Yeah, that's fun. Bollocks. Okay. Die! Right. Bloop. Okay, that's us out of here. And through we go. Hooray! Speed boost, defense boost. Oh yes, that'll make up for the the other problem. Ooh. Grab that loot key. Always useful. Or at least it's proven useful thus far. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. I do like how that uh, basically chews through multiple enemies, but I'm gonna this leave that do. for now and try this rocket launcher. I'm assuming it's a rocket launcher. Looks like one, doesn't it? Okay. Yep. Brilliant. Yep. Oh god, I always press escape. I mean, I always press space when I'm supposed to press escape. Got one of these fucking things. Oh god, lots of these fucking things. Well, we found the, uh, we found the exit. I mean, ideally it's a good idea to come back here just to try and get experience and stuff. Oh yeah, let's, let's open this up. Let's see what we get. Stash token. Got I said I'd wrap up, but maybe I will just, maybe I will just play it one more, one more time, one more go. I uh, hate these things. Let's uh, change to our light machine gun. Ah, oh, they take some punishment. Oh god. Keep forgetting that every time I shoot, it pushes me back as well. That'll do. I'm gonna get out. That was ill-advised and not well performed on my part. Oh god, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Get out of it. Right. I would use moustache power, but we're almost done with this level, so I feel like it'd be more prudent to save it for the next level. Where was that door again, though? This will do. This is just back round the other way, right onto a spike. So I, I don't personally get on too well with the keyboard controls for this. Bollocks. 
Well, that was a terrible showing from yours truly. I can only blame the controls so much before I have to take culpability, which I will. Uh, poor showing. But hey, I did alright the first time, so I'm not going to complain too much. And we we'll just spin, see what we get. <gasps> Bag on head! Brilliant! Oh, what's this? Different, different game entirely. No, 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 don't go on the red X. Why would you do that? <laughs> I felt genuinely quite hurt by that. 25 money, rubbish. I want the hat, give me the hat. Yeah, yeah, you stop right there. Oh, it was a double. And that's that, basically. Oh, look at that. Same hat aesthetically, but way different stats. Look at that. Plus 10, double dash distance, three extra inventory slots. That's amazing. And I will keep that forever. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. Rogue stash. It's on early access, so there's still plenty of, uh, still plenty of opportunity for this to get better, and I am pleased with it so far. The art style, as I say, doesn't entirely speak to me. And I feel like having so many eyeballs as enemies is a bit... I know, it's not a great aesthetic. Eyeballs themselves have limited potential to be interesting. Not no potential, but limited potential. Uh, and, and I feel like, you know, more than eyes would be fun. And the, sta the, 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 the whole moustache thing seems very... very tacked on and not really like it's got... outside of the stash power, which is just a power-up meter. It doesn't feel like it comes into play too much with the game itself. At least from my initial impressions. It feels almost like it's just trying to capitalise on the memes of, you know, haha manly moustache, that's fun. Otherwise, the gameplay itself is solid. If uh, they improve the controller support, it'll be rock solid. But as it stands, very promising. Rogue stash, really looking forward to seeing where it goes. So I guess, as, as far as an early access game can ever get a recommendation from yours truly, yeah, that's a, a recommendation with all of the associate caveats that come with an early access game. And that'll do me. I'll see you later. Bye.